Remember, control and create squirrel numbers helps protect our trees, bird life and red squirrel numbers. Warning, this is a pest control video. If you are not comfortable watching this content, please switch off now. You have been warned. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Grey Reaper channel. Um, this video is going to be taking over two different permissions. The first one on one of my permissions in North Yorkshire and this one is in County Durham. And uh, we'll see what happens eh? I got to this hide just after 7 o'clock in the morning and I had to wait about at least half an hour for this first one to tip up. This second grey exhibited the same behaviour about four times before it eventually gave us enough time to get a shot away. It would just keep climbing onto the feeder, taking something and then quickly doing away before I had time to pull the trigger. But at last I got the chance. This is the second feeder that we have on this permission. Now feeder to hide is only 15 yards. Plus, we're actually firing uphill towards the feeder. This is feeder number three. Now last time I was here I actually shot eight but unfortunately on this deer this was the only grey that I saw. If you live in the County Durham area please call in to Wheatley Hill Pet and Corn and help out local businesses. I spot deer quite often on the trail camera on this permission and this morning was no different. With greers being such messy eaters just gives the deer a nice little snack. Arrived at the perm about 7 o'clock in the morning and had quite a while to wait before the first grey made an appearance. Well it's 8.45 in the morning and that's the first one down. Um, it's just come along the tree line to my right and down towards the feeder, climbed up the feeder. So let's hope it's a productive morning.
Now I just needed this one to move its head a little bit so I could thread a pellet just underneath the branch. Well, that was a busy little session. I've just taken another four out in 15 minutes. Um, it has been shown anyway out about six or seven grays at any one time, either on or around the feeder. So I'm hoping there's going to be a few more tips up this morning. But we'll see what happens. Finally, another one facing away from us gives us a shot. I can sit and watch these all day. And the less grease we've got in the area, the more chance these guys have. Nice little double we have coming up here. Well, that's another four down in uh, about 20 minutes. So it's going fairly well. Uh, I'm going to give it about another hour and a half and we'll see how many we end up with. Hopefully it keeps on going as busy as it has been. We'll see what happens. I think I've shot more on the ground at this feeder than I ever have before.
another nice little double coming up here. Well, it's just gone half past ten. Um, there's eleven on the ground now, under the feeder, and one's rolled down the bank and gone at the stream. Um, I've just shot another two, nice little double, uh, just be, just after half past ten. So I'm going to give it another hour, and we'll see if there's any more grays tip up. And if he isn't by about half eleven, I'll call them all. That'll be it. Well, that's it. Half eleven, and there's nothing more tipped up now. So we're going to call it a morning. Um, I'll top the feeder up in a few days' time. Check the trail camera again and see what's been coming to the feeders number-wise, and I'll make a decision then when I'm going to shoot next. So that's it. I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe in order to help the channel grow. And in the meantime, here's another couple for you to watch.